Tesla Powerwall 3, Franklin Whole Home A Power 2. Which is the best battery energy storage system for your home in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market leading batteries in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be doing another head-to-head -head battery comparison between the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the Franklin Whole Home, the new A Power 2 model of the Franklin battery. Now, as you guys know, the, the battery space has gotten increasingly competitive uh, in the US in the last 18 months or so. Uh, we've seen a lot of international brands come in and enter the US market, and it's gotten really crowded. But Tesla and Franklin have been one of the top five brands that we've been covering for several years now. And I wanted to give you an updated version of the comparison using the latest model available from each company. Now, we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six categories. Each category has a maximum potential of five points for a maximum total score of 30 points. Now, those categories are power, including both continuous running power and peak power. Uh, of course, the storage capacity of the battery, uh, the warranty term on the battery, uh, of course, the cost of the battery and the cost to have it installed. Also, we're gonna be covering the ease of installation. And this is a really important factor, especially for you installers out there, considering which battery storage option to offer, we're gonna cover a little bit about dif different design features that make it easier to install the uh, particular product. Uh, and then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way that I can award additional points to one of the two products where there may not be a direct one-to-one -one apples to apples comparison, but where those unique design features could have tremendous impact to you as a potential system owner or as an installer. And with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, first up is the Tesla Powerwall 3. Now again, Powerwall 3 really made waves when it introduced the first integrated battery inverter design. And so basically the Powerwall 3 is not just your home energy storage battery, but it also acts as your solar inverter also if you're doing a new install from Tesla. Now in terms of power output, the Powerwall 3 provides 11 and a half kilowatts of continuous output power with the ability to provide up to 185 locked rotor amps startup for heavy loads like air conditioning compressors. Now in terms of storage capacity, for each Powerwall 3, you have 13 and a half kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. Uh, and that's been pretty constant for every generation of the Tesla battery or the, the Tesla Powerwall battery. They've stayed right at that 13 and a half kilowatt hours of usable power. Now, the Powerwall comes with a 10-year warranty, uh, and we're seeing that sort of being the, the standard for home energy storage systems is a standard 10-year warranty. Now, in terms of cost, uh, although I can't give you specific unit pricing, I can tell you that the feedback that we're getting from installers and homeowners is that Tesla has a very competitive price, uh, in some cases, some of the lowest pricing for a complete installed system. Uh, and again, a big reason for that is because the Tesla Powerwall battery serves as both battery storage and your solar inverter, so you don't have to go and purchase a separate inverter or micro inverters like Solar Edge or Enphase. The Powerwall 3 battery does all of those functions for you. Now, in most cases, a single Powerwall 3 battery could be installed for whole house backup. You know, there, there's enough instantaneous power output to support whole house backup for most homes, uh, especially homes in California where, where many of you in California have no air conditioning or, or very limited use of air conditioning. Uh, compared to where I live on the East Coast, we tend to have larger and multiple air conditioning units, uh, especially in places like Texas and Florida. So in those cases, you may wanna consider adding a second battery, but I think this battery was designed primarily with the California market in mind where you could, in theory, do a whole house backup with a single battery. Now, in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give the Powerwall 3 plus three points in this category. There are a few unique features that Tesla has introduced to make the installation smoother, uh, the largest of which is the Tesla backup switch, uh, also known as the meter collar adapter. Uh, and basically, what this allows you to do, if you're gonna be doing a simple installation with a single Powerwall 3, and configuring for whole house backup, instead of having to install a gateway or critical loads panel, you can just use the, the Tesla backup switch, put that in between your electrical service and your electric meter, and basically that will do the microgrid interconnection device for you. Basically, it acts as your transfer switch. It allows you to disconnect the house from the electric grid, but still energize solar and battery power in the house 
during an emergency without really have to modify any of the home's internal wiring. So I think you installers out there are really gonna like that in terms of lowering cost and lowering risk of having to modify the home's existing electrical system. And in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna award Tesla plus two points in this category, uh, mainly for just the excellent aesthetics that Tesla's always brought to the table, some of the best looking electrical products, uh, and also because of the tight integration with the Tesla app. So if you're a Tesla vehicle owner already, you'll be able to do everything you need with your vehicle, your vehicle charging, your home solar, your battery, everything nicely integrated on a single app. Uh, and again, folks, the feedback that we're getting from installers overall is that the product installs very easily and overall, not a problem to deal with. All right, now let's look at the new Franklin A-Power 2. All right, up next is the new Franklin Whole Home A-Power 2 battery. Now, Franklin just made a major upgrade to the A-Power battery in late 2024, increasing the power output and the storage capacity. So with A-Power 2, you now have continuous output power of 10 kilowatts with surge power up to 15 kilowatts for up to 10 seconds. Uh, so again, that's gonna be able to handle whole house backup, including heavy loads, like even starting up your air conditioning compressor, uh, if you had to, even with just a single battery. Now, in terms of storage capacity, each battery provides 15 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. And I say usable capacity because there's actually a little bit more that is reserved for internal use or black start, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more uh, in a little bit here. Uh, but basically they're, they're jumping up, Franklin's jumping up from 13 and a half to 15 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity uh, as a result of the higher capacity internal battery cells. Now that's a decent amount. And, and again, it's, it's feasible that you could run whole house backup on a single battery. You certainly have the power output needed and with 15 kilowatt hours of usable capacity, you know, if you could forego, for example, if you could forego or make very limited use of heavy loads like air conditioning overnight, uh, you could realistically have a whole house backup with a single battery. Now, in terms of cost, the Franklin A-Power 2 comes in, I would say probably middle of the road, maybe slightly below average uh, in terms of cost. Uh, again, Franklin is not really designed to be a low cost battery. This is not one of these low cost generic batteries but I think you're gonna find it comes in at a very solid price point, especially considering the extremely high power and storage capacity that it brings to the table. Now, I think what you're gonna see is Franklin is really going to dominate the retrofit battery market. Uh, this is an AC coupled battery, I should mention, meaning that uh, the interface between the solar and the battery system happens at the AC side of the system af after the inversion has taken place, which means that in most cases, the installation can be completed 100% at ground level. Uh, even if you have existing solar panels on your home and you come in later to add battery storage, pretty much all of that work can be done below the roof at ground level. So it does help with ease of installation. Now, Franklin did up the warranty as well. So now they're offering a 15 year warranty with up to 60 megawatt hours of total throughput. So major upgrade from the original A-Power battery. Now, in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give the A-Power 2 plus four points in this category. They've done a number of things to really help ease things for the installer, uh, including, similar to Tesla, compatibility with meter collar adapters. So you can have that more simple uh, grid interface right at the meter without having to install a gateway or a critical loads panel uh, unless you want to. Um, also, Franklin has introduced a custom lift dolly uh, it's a drill powered lift dolly, which allows you to basically lift the A-Power up into place to hang it on the wall bracket without really having to lift it with you know, manual manpower, if you will. Uh, and of course, that is one of the considerations you have to, to take into account with both of these batteries. Um, since these are high capacity lithium iron phosphate based batteries, they're heavy. Um, they're heavy and, and they're bulky. And so, you know, logistically, that's one of the things you wanna look at is what lift equipment do you need to stock on the truck to be able to, to set these batteries into place efficiently. And then in terms of X-Factor, I'm gonna give the A-Power 2 plus four X-Factor points for a number of additional features that Franklin offers. Uh, for example, generator support. Um, if you're truly off the grid or, or you're preparing your home to survive a prolonged grid down event, having a generator recharge option is one of the things I always recommend. That way, if you hit a patch of bad weather and the solar panels can't keep up with recharging the batteries fast enough, all you have to do is fire up the generator for a few hours. While the generator is running, it'll be powering the house and recharging your battery. 
and then you can go and switch to running off of solar and battery power again. So it gives you an extra level of redundancy and it helps you stretch the fuel supply on your generator. Uh, also, Franklin offers smart circuit control as part of its A-gate. And so what smart circuit control is basically, the system will, will turn on or turn off certain heavy loads within the house based on system parameters. Like for example, the battery state of charge. So perhaps you have your system wired to do whole house backup, but if you're in a grid down situation and let, let's say the battery falls below 50%, well, you could program the system to automatically turn off your clothes dryer and your EV charger so you can preserve the remaining battery for the more critical items within the home. So this is the new Franklin A-Power 2. Okay, so if we summarize it here, for Powerwall 3, we're looking at 11 and a half kilowatts of continuous power output, storage capacity of 13 and a half kilowatt hours, a 10 year warranty, Relatively low cost. The feedback we're getting is overall install cost for Tesla Powerwall 3 is on the low side. Plus three points for ease of installation, plus two points for X Factor. Now for A Power 2, we have 10 kilowatts of continuous power with 15 kilowatts of peak power for up to 10 seconds. In terms of storage capacity, we've, got, we've now got 15 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity with the new A Power 2, a 15 year warranty with up to 60 megawatt hours of total throughput, middle of the road in terms of cost, plus four points for ease of installation, plus four X factor points for some of those unique features I talked about, like the generator support, the um, smart circuit control, um, as well as Franklin offers a black start capability. And what the black start capability means is once all the usable energy in the battery is exhausted, Franklin keeps an extra kilowatt hours of reserve so that the internal, basically the internal controls of the battery can remain active and still accept charge in even if power has been cut off to power loads. So that's known as black start. And that means that even if your battery totally drains out in a grid down situation, as soon as sunlight comes back the next day, it's gonna be able to recharge that battery. You're not gonna to have to have a technician come out to basically jumpstart the battery for you. Very important for off grid. So if we total it up, Powerwall 3 gets five out of five for power, four out of five for storage capacity, three out of five for warranty, five out of five for cost. Again, overall, the feedback we're getting is a very low cost overall install plus three points for ease of installation, plus two X Factor points for a total of 22 points. Now for Franklin A Power 2, I'm awarding four out of five for power, five out of five for storage capacity, uh, also five out of five for warranty with that 15 year warranty. That's about the best you can find in the industry now. Uh, three out of five for cost, again, middle of the road here, plus four points for ease of installation and plus four X Factor points for those unique design features we mentioned, for a total of 25 points. So folks, if you're looking for a, a, a Tesla Powerwall alternative, or if you're comparing a Tesla Powerwall, considering do I go the Tesla route or do I use an alternative like Franklin, I think Franklin brings a lot to the table that you really need to consider. Higher storage capacity, better warranty, more smart home additional features like those smart circuit controls and the generator support. Um, and, and again, if you're talking about a true off-grid environment, having that generator support is important, as well as having that black start capability uh, is important, in my opinion. Also, if you're looking to retrofit battery storage onto a home that already has solar, the Franklin battery, in my opinion, is gonna be the best at that because it is, it's natively an AC coupling capable battery. Whereas if you try to do that with Tesla, you're gonna have to install additional equipment. But the Tesla offering is still a solid offering there. And I think if you're already a Tesla vehicle owner, you might find it convenient to have everything hooked up on the same app and sort of keep everything on the same brand and the same software platform, but definitely two batteries that you wanna consider if you're in the market for a home solar and storage system. Well, folks, this has been another head-to-head -head comparison of the Powerwall 3 and the Franklin Whole Home A Power 2 battery. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new comparisons like this coming out, it'll come up on your recommended videos, and that way you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar or battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for one of these options, or, or really any of the leading options, as always, feel free to just reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. 
But that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.